Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 16th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a pretty nice pop in the market with some news that um, Vladimir Putin was sending some troops home. Unfortunately, this morning it looks like that might have been misinformation uh, directed to, you know, put a little leg on the face of our administration. So, um, what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Yesterday, I apologize, I didn't get to answering comments um, on YouTube, and that was just simply because I was so rudely interrupted with an internet outage, outage that went the entire day. In fact, it came on sometime in the middle of the night for me. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Looking at um, this chart, you know, it was, it was a nice thing to see that relief rally. It created a little bit of breathing room here in the market, but unfortunately it really didn't change anything. We um, ended up the day here in the diamonds, pushing up into price resistance and that downtrend, and really nothing has changed here on the technical picture of these charts. As a, as a matter of fact, if we take a look, we rallied up into that 50-day moving average, and right now we're struggling, or 200-day moving average, we're struggling to hold that. And one of the things I want to point out here is that our shorter term averages, 20 day, 8 day, um, and our 34 EMA are all pushing down here. We've got quite a resistance level here in price resistance and technicals of the chart. We're going to need something special to push us up through there. Perhaps we get that today with some of these economic reports or earnings reports, but let's watch those resistance levels closely. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. Now, the S&P 500 also had a nice little rally yesterday, and it did just barely edge above a uh, moving average here in the chart, but let's notice here overall, we really didn't change anything technically in the chart. It was a nice little relief, but didn't really improve our technical patterns. And you can see right here, we got above that 200 day, but notice we've got quite a lot of price resistance in this area um, that's gonna require something special maybe to move us up through there. But we can hang our hat on the fact that these indexes are did hold a little higher low, at least at the moment. So let's keep a close eye on that. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, that doggone QQQ, it is just struggling a lot. And we're continuing to see those bond prices or bond yields um, really affecting things here in the NASDAQ. And as you can see, still in a confirmed downtrend, although we do have this higher low in the chart, yesterday's move just pushed us right back up into a significant level of price resistance in the chart. So we've got lots of congestion in here. We're still well below our 200 day moving average. And notice now our 34 exponential moving average is crossing down through the, that 200 day. And by golly, that 50 day moving average is encroaching pretty quickly on that 200 day as well. So keep a close eye on that. Hard to look at that chart and see it as bullish at the moment. And then if we take a look at the Russell, uh, the Russell uh, following through, this is kind of an interesting thing. The Russell is actually holding on to some trend here in the upside um, of that chart. But notice that we are still in a confirmed downtrend here on the Russell with a massive um, resistance level above. So once again, when we look at the technicals of this chart, it's really kind of difficult to see this chart as bullish with that 50 day moving average coming down. Um, crossing down through that 50 day, we've got an awful lot of work here before we really improve the technical picture here on the Russell. But let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had a nice little pullback yesterday. 
And you guys know I've been talking about this little upside trend here in uh, the VIX. And although it pulled back, you know, I think everyone would probably have expected a bigger pullback than what we actually received yesterday um, on that big gap up open. So let's um, let's take this with a grain of salt. It is one of those things where we have that little wedging pattern uh, forming in here. We have some price support and we've talked about this area of price support right through here uh, quite a few times. So watch that area in here. If we were to bounce off of that, that could be a problem. And it could also be that situation where we could just wind up in this range here for a while. So we try to sort through some of these details in the market that were um, those uncertainties, I should say, in the market. So keep a close eye on that. I think as long as we hold above uh, a 20 handle here we still run some risk here in the market of that next move to the upside so watch that closely then let's take a look at our t2122 interestingly enough t2122 had quite a day yesterday um, we went from almost a um, oversold condition in the market and at one point in time yesterday our T2122 was actually peaking out into the bearish reversal zone. So that gap up on that hopefulness of uh, Russia pulling back from Ukraine, that seems to have faded right now as um, NATO cannot confirm that um, they've really withdrawn any troops at all um, from the border. So you'll want to keep a close eye on this. And what this means is we've got a lot of data coming our way today in both earnings and economic reports. And if we can find some reason for those bulls to grab a hold of um, this um or some energy in this data, then we still do have upside opportunity here in the market. But what T2122 also shows us is that if we find that reason for bearishness, we've opened up a pretty big opportunity for more selling to the downside. So we're going to have to stay on our toes this morning as all this data comes out. Let's take a look at our T2122. 08. Now our T2108 did a nice job yesterday and noticing that we're holding these this little upside trend T2108. We held some price support in here. We still have this major downtrend here in T2108 that we're going to have to get through and a significant level of price resistance in that chart as well to get through. But it was quite an improvement yesterday with about 37% of our stocks getting above their 40 day moving average. So nice improvement if it can hold. And if we take a look at our T2107, we had a nice improvement there as well, perking back up, not quite as good as we saw in um, uh, the 40 day moving average, but the 200 day moving average, we did cross back up. We held this little price support in here um, in that chart, but unfortunately we just have a lot of work yet here to do. 32% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. So there's still quite a little bit of work here to do. And then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101, continuing to stay um, oddly um, declining. Um, we, we're declining when we sell, we're declining when we move up. So market breadth has been struggling here with a little bit of momentum uh, in the market. So let's keep a close eye on that. Not sure what that means, but we are getting down here toward these low levels in here where we could see some type of a, an event make a big move in the market, whether that be up or down. So watch that closely. And one thing I have to say when we look at these internals right now and look at those charts, yes, yesterday was a, was a wonderful relief but we're really going to have to be cautious in thinking that it sounded the all clear that everything is good to go here in the market because we still have significant price resistance levels above and significant challenges ahead of us here in the market. However, having said that, let's take a look at some of the data that could maybe change things here today, either bullishly or bearishly. We've got a big day on our economic calendar today with um, retail sales numbers. Now, retail sales, um, the um, expectation here from consensus estimates is just a, a little improvement in retail sales. We're going to have to watch that closely because if you remember that um, sentiment number 
that came in last Friday showing tremendous weakness in consumer sentiment, that kind of would suggest that consumers may not be as feisty to be out there spending as um, the market would kind of hope they would be. So let's keep an eye on that. If it comes in as expected, we could maybe see some bullishness in the market. If it comes in and misses, we could certainly see those bears be reactivated here. We we'll want to also keep an, um, an eye on import export prices. Um, you know, it's interesting. We're not getting much reaction to these, but our import export numbers are horrific right now showing um, that there is some major problems economically here going on uh, but we're tending to ignore that so watch that one closely today I, it may not move the market I think we're going to be more focused on retail sales and then we got an industrial production number obviously that can move the market we'll want to keep an eye on that business inventories housing market index petroleum status report fed speakers a 20-year bond auction and then we've got the FOMC minutes. So after we get through some of this data this morning, we could see a little bit of pause in the market, a little bit of consolidating choppy price action after we get through the volatility of the morning as we wait for that FOMC. And everyone's hoping we can gain some clues uh, about what the Fed is going to do. But honestly, I think they've kind of projected that pretty well, that they're going to start being aggressive against this inflation. Um, and as you plan forward, make Make sure you remember we're going to have housing job claims and the Philly Fed on Thursday morning. So we still have a busy, busy week ahead of us still on these economic reports. So keep a close eye on it. And then we've got Bullard in there tomorrow as well. And we know he is being extremely hawkish. Um, so uh, we'll want to watch out for what he has to say tomorrow. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar and our earnings calendar is a very very busy this morning and this afternoon particularly with some big tech reports that have that potential to um, move the market so let's take a look some of these um, stocks today um, please keep in mind guys I, I can't cover them all there's just too many to cover here but we've got about 170 companies listed on the calendar today the notables are quite a few less than that but let's take a look we've got shop that will be reporting today let's keep a close eye on this we know shop is one of those that could move um, the market pretty substantially but it's been in a pretty bearish pattern as you can see um, failing to the downside looking pretty ugly and that may be one of those problems that we're seeing with that consumer being impacted so much by inflation so keep an eye on that we're going to hear from some insurance today AIG and insurance has been holding up remarkably well here in the market um, staying pretty darn strong so keep an eye on that we're going to hear from Barry Gold Barry Gold will be reporting today. Looks like it's trying to move up a little bit this morning. We're going to hear from Crocs. Those rubber shoes, see whether or not we like those rubber shoes still with high inflation. And you can see we're obviously downtrending here in the chart. We're going to hear uh, from um, um, Hyatt Hotels. We're going to hear from um, HST Host Hotels. We're going to hear from KHC little Kraft Heinz um, action in there this morning. But the big guys of the day are probably going to be um, Applied Materials. Um, they will be reporting today. Keep an eye on Applied Materials after the bell. NVIDIA after the bell today. And Cisco after the bell today. Those will all be important reports later on this afternoon. So how about we take, a, oh, and by the way, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. Take you back to the blog and you can catch that full list of notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've see seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be helpful in preparing for your day, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, and all by all means, share this video out there on your social media feed. Um, I truly 
truly appreciate it. The channel is continuing to grow and thank you so much. Also, there is an opportunity for folks that aren't members of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options to support this content. You can do that by clicking that link just below the title of the video and that will take you um, over to the Buy Me a Coffee page where you can support the channel that way. And I've been using that money to do some upgrades as a matter of fact. Um, if I get through this week, I've got a very busy week this week, um, then I might start scheduling some um, live public um, education events on YouTube. So watch for those announcements coming up. Let's take a look at a few of these charts that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And as a matter of fact, we're just gonna have to be really, really careful um, in this market. Um, still an awful lot of uncertainty out there, a lot of price resistance above. So it may be a good idea to have a little bit of a mix on these trades. Let's take a look at um, um, a couple of stocks that I have been mentioning here recently. PENN, PIN, um, very, very good. Had a nice little pop up yesterday. Didn't quite trigger my alert in here, but I like this chart breaking the downtrend, breaking up, um, breaking uh, into some higher lows. Back above its 50-day moving average, this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout, where we break above that 50, our shorter term averages are coming up to provide some support under that level, and um, we would look for a nice upside move on that chart. So watch that carefully in Penn National. Um, LVS is another one that um, moved on through nicely yesterday to the upside, uh, breaking from resistance or uh, from support here, holding in an upside trend. Now, uh, unfortunately, this is getting kind of stretched up here and we're stretching up into some price resistance in the chart. So watch that closely um, because we may be approaching that resistance here, but LVS looking pretty good. A lot of those casino stocks are looking good as well. You may want to take a look at some of the travel stocks. We've got, um, uh, TripAdvisor um, is going to be reporting this morning and right now it looks like they're trying to push through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that because we're seeing quite a surge coming into travel, uh, travel stocks, Expedia, um, um, airlines, um, cruise lines, everything is starting to pick up here just a little bit with the easing of COVID restrictions. So keep an eye on uh, some of these travel stocks. Um, again, I mentioned yesterday UAL, that fired up and went nicely yesterday to the upside. A lot of those airlines are starting to show that bullishness and um, you can also also see that coming into play in some of these cruise lines picking up nice little patterns holding higher lows so keep a close eye on that I do think guys um, it would be a good idea to be keeping an eye on gold now precious metals have had a really challenging time here in the market a lot of chopping around but with these bond yields rising so much there seems to be a renewed interest here in gold uh, precious metals and silver um, um, so keep an eye on this we've had a little bit of a pullback after this big steep rally but notice we're kind of holding in here on a trend in that upside move keep an eye on that and i would also keep an eye on some of the miners out there um gd at whoops i got a type first gdx nice little pattern here breaking through some resistance in the chart setting up a little higher low in here i'd keep an eye on some of these miners um, 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 GOLD reporting this morning looks like it's moving up this morning so again we're getting some bullish action in here um, good strong reports from like Barrick and things like that might help that sector as well so keep an eye on some of those miners i'm gonna have to put silver in that uh, move as well notice we've been pushing and pushing and pushing this has been a really protracted um, consolidating bottom in here with lots of volatility in it so i'm not saying that this is out of the woods yet that we can just say gold and silver is all bull but watch this carefully as it's holding some price support in here, showing some strength. I'm also gonna put copper into that same arena here. Notice that nice little pop yesterday on copper yesterday. Nice bullish move here, pushing on up. We do have some resistance here to consider in the chart, but we're holding in a nice little upside trend. So keep an eye on FCX. It may finally pop on through, move to the upside. A couple other places um, we saw some 
um, some moves starting here in Coca-Cola where we had that hammer pattern, a follow through there a little bit. Um, on uh, Tuesday and you can see that we're just hanging in here so keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks too because if the market um, feels a little bit uncomfortable and uncertain these can tend to perk up and take a look at like that Philip Morris how strong it is moving really nicely and I'm whole actually holding um, a, a trade in Altria um, waiting to see if that will pop but watch those closely um, take a look at BBBY now BBBY had has been struggling in here but had a nice day yesterday pushing up in this chart now I happen to hold this so I have a little bit of bias on this trade but watch that closely if it can push on through now to the upside watch it um, so with that guys there's a few things for you to consider today, a few charts for you to be paying attention to. If you, um, once again, if you find this information to be helpful, make sure you click those subscribe buttons and share this video out there. I wanna wish you guys all a fantastic day of trading. I wanna wish you great success. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care everyone.